Wallapalooza, Smoking Martha. You guys are back. We're back. You made the cut. Woo! How cool is that? Repeat That's offenders. Good. That's pretty cool. You guys have had a big year. You've had a big 12 months. Yeah. It's been good. Yeah. It's been really fun. Fill us, fill us all in. Alright, well, I guess lots of shows. Um, recording with Ian Hope from Powderfinger, that was awesome. Um, yeah, it was really great. Uh, we um, did our EP launch not long ago, setting off the tour. Uh, film clips, Sweet as Honey, one of the latest film clips that we've just um, released. Which you will see on the Wallapalooza page. Excellent. Yeah, it's been really good. It's just been a really fun year so far, so just, um, <laughs> so the experience that you guys have had under, under your belt over the last 12 months, a lot of different shows and stuff like that, the new album, what's, what's, what sort of, um, what's coming out of the new album that's different from, from what we've seen and heard of you guys before? I um, don't know, I guess um, we've sort of stripped it back a bit more, it's a bit, it's a bit more raw, which is that, well, I guess we sound a bit more raw live, so we're trying to make sure they capture that. With that so. Turned out pretty good that way, and um, a bit more experiment, experimentation. You know, we got to use a whole lot of different guitars and all that kind of stuff in the studio, so which was pretty rad. How many guitars did you get to use? It was at least twenty. Twenty. Yeah. 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 That's like a Springsteen set. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, That's uh, like Springsteen in a set. That's crazy. It's like this. It was Ian a guitar or a <laughs> So yeah, that was pretty rad. Yeah. And we were really interested in capturing all the dynamics that we were, we were planning for and writing for and it was, you know, when you get in the studio you get to work with the producer that stuff coming out and it would work for me. Excellent. So, was, so, so working with the new producer was, was big for you guys? Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, it was really good. It's, it's a lot of fun. I find a lot of bands can take a lot out of live shows when they work with, I talk to the Helm guys working with Dead Letter Circus and there's some um, the guys from these four walls had a lot of major supports when they were in New Zealand with some real heavy hitter acts. And you take a lot out of those experiences, but I think um, there's a lot lost in the art of the recording studio these days and working with, you know, you look at a lot of the big producers that have influenced some of the albums over the years, look at like Nevermind by Nirvana and, and the influences that, you know, the producers and that had over that, and like Butch and that had over that. I mean, like, having that experience as a, um, a, 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 like as a novice, not so much a novice artist, but as a novice band project in a scene that has got so many layers of depth. Does, did that bring a lot to your music, and is that going to come out a lot in your shows? Have you found that that can, can translate that live as well? Or? Yeah, I think you know. I think the main thing with us was dynamics, and that was something when we first started. It was all about noise. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of noise, make it as loud as possible, you know, like really big rock sound. And, and when we were writing, it was all just about, you know, trying to, I guess, make feeling in the music. But at the beginning, we didn't realise that the feeling comes down to just taking it all back and, and, and you know, slowing things down and, and really, um, yeah, I guess really pulling back in parts. And that's something that when you're first beginning as a band, you kind of, you don't tend to do. You want to really push everything out and you want to give everything you have because you're just like, I just have to, I really want to show, I've got to give everything. But I think when you kind of do it for a little while, you get used to it, you start to realise that, it, I don't know, it just comes out a little bit more balanced. Like it doesn't come out so rushed anymore and it, it doesn't come out like you're just trying to throw something at someone. It comes out like yeah. I'm giving you pieces at a time because all else I'll give you too much. <laughs> you know? it's, it's a lot. You, you, you think about... You know, even growing up, and a lot about when you're growing up, it's trying to say to the world, hey, I have a voice. And as you mature and you learn a little bit about the world, sometimes you learn that some of the most powerful words are the ones that are never spoken. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. yeah, like pulling back, you know, then the bigger stuff sounds bigger. Yeah. Yeah. And it just opens it up more. Yeah. A, sen a sentence is a lot is a lot more thrilling if you've got a full stop. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. No, that, that's good. Cool. And um, your show last year upstairs was killer. Absolutely yeah. killer. Yeah, you, good time. you guys enjoyed yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, awesome. we loved it. Yeah. It was really good. So, for people that have never come down before, what would you say to them to expect if they turn up to Wallapalooza just to see 29 bands on three stages for free? Is that it? <laughs> what would you tell them? Oh, um, wow. What did you take out of your experience that you'd like to tell them that they could look forward to like, uh, as, a, uh, as their first show? 
Wow, everything. I mean, the bands that are on offer, I mean, there's so many different kinds of acts on. Um, it's a great venue. Too, like, Everybody's amazing. Sure. Just the whole day, you know, it's a good, great day out. Like, you can bring anybody, you know. I had, there was people there from oh, like 13 to... Oh, to like this guy. This little kid over here. He was killing it. He was killing it over there. Were you dancing last year? No. Are you going to dance this year? Oh. No. <laughs> That's not a dancer, he's just a hangout. And Howard Harlem's on the crew. Cool. <laughs> yeah, really Part of his contract yeah, on the dancers, like, yeah. he's, he's taking he's care of business. Um, he's like, he's, he's, he's my main man, man. he takes yeah, care yeah, of business. Don't yeah. <laughs> you, buddy? No. You look after me. That's my main man. Production is great, you know, yeah. that's the other thing. That the means a lot sound, to the bands as well. The sound up front and on stage, you know, you don't get that. You play, you know, you play everywhere and you're always, you know, you can't hear anything. You have problems on stage and off stage. But, yeah, the sound is like top notch, it's great. We brought bigger toys this year too. <laughs> oh, Just so true. you guys know, we have very big toys coming to all three stages. That's pretty exciting. So, yeah. I appreciate sure we that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so covers. Oh. So we've spoke, every band gets to do their ironic cover this year. Um, something I'm pretty passionate about, which is pretty passionate about. You guys, I throw you, threw you one from absolutely left field. I started looking at these guys and straight away, I mean, you could go easily go the motels because the smoking Martha. No, nah, too easy. <laughs> Looked at Led Zeppelin because if you've ever seen these guys um, live, the, the 70s undertones that run through the music, and especially in your earlier stuff, is just phenomenal. I love it. And I almost, you almost ended up with Mother Love Bone. I almost went Mother Love Bone, Ooh, okay. <laughs> which is early 90s grunge, right? Yeah. Um, but do we want to tell them what I gave you, Tash? Yeah. Who'd I give you? Right. Who'd I give you? Okay. Who'd I give you? Okay. Who sang for the band I gave you? Alright, well, Black Sabbath. War Pigs. Well, Pink by Sabbath. Best song ever. Serious old school. Pretty good. Now, Pretty one, hard. now, apparently one of the guys in your band sings this song at rehearsal oh, all yeah, the time. Oh yeah, all the time. He's yeah. part yeah. of our drummer. He's not here tonight, but he always. Sings. He's overcome with emotion. He's at home and <laughs> he found out about the song. So. Held up in He's pretty excited. So, so mixture with the show this year, bit of old, bit of new, what are we getting? Yeah, well we've got a lot of new stuff, so, and the new stuff is, you know, it's changing quite a bit. It's not changing from what we originally are, like it's just, it's hopefully, you know, bringing it to life a little bit more, which is what we were talking about dynamics mm. earlier. So, um, yeah, it's still heavy, there's still a lot of punk element in there. Um, there's still a bit of everything in there, we're just trying out different things at the moment. We're in Excellent. the experimental stage, so. But we've still got a bit of, you know, all the classics that people, are, our fans really love, which is awesome. And um, and a couple of newies just to throw in there, just to kind of confuse them a little bit. <laughs> now, when we talk about the fashion red carpet this year, we know Dan the Man is going to be all over it. The king of the Pikachu. But I've got to say, guys, oh, yeah. Tash has got it pretty much <laughs> sewn up. Tash works in the industry. Oh, yeah. Shoes, ladies, come on. <laughs> Babes, you get those? Oh, and do the earrings too because oh, they are the yeah. fun. I want to get my ears pierced again just so I can <laughs> wear those. These babies, are they rather That's it. That there is right <laughs> on it. So not only ripping it up on the stage, um, ripping it up in the fashion stakes as well, and um, and a bit of war pigs. So guys, we are looking forward to seeing these guys at Wallapalooza. Sit in front of your computer and give a round of applause. Come on, round of applause to these guys. Can you feel the love, guys? I feel the love. <laughs> All right, Smoking Martha this year, Wallapalooza. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Come. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Oh, look at that, backhand. Thank you, Andy. <laughs> Cheers, Andy. Hi, Reeds. <laughs>